Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with my Let's Play of the Allies campaign for Airfix Dogfighter. So, last video we ended up doing Mission 1, which means that this video will actually be Mission 2. Now, all we have to do is locate and pick up the blue key and then find the weapon schematics. Simple enough. But for this mission, instead of the Hawker Hurricane, we'll be using the Hawker Typhoon, which was the aircraft for which we picked up the blueprints and parts in the last mission. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. So if we play our cards right, we can actually probably pick up a bit more uh, tech level stars. Which means we should be able to, hopefully, if we, if we're lucky, even potentially get an entire tier up in terms of that before we even leave this room. But yeah, the way this game works is, if I remember correctly, it just... Uh, each mission is essentially dedicated to a specific room of the house. So, for example, the Allies deal mostly in the early game with the upstairs stuff, which is their territory, until they move into the Ally with, until they move into the Axis territory, which is downstairs. So that gave us quite a few stars. We're at three already, and we should be able to pick up two more real quick, which would put us at five. Now, it is possible to run a little low on ammo in this mission, which can be a small issue. Okay, so that's good at least. The way it works is the ammo does semi-recharge sorts. Basically, it gives you one bullet uh, and lowers your... Re uh, rate of fire that way. So we will m probably have a nine maybe, or ooh, yeah we are going to have at least nine. We might reach a full ten by the time we leave the room here, which would be really good. We are down to 150 shots, so... Uh, looks like I'm going to have to wait until I get into the other rooms before I... Alright, so there is another thing, though, I can pick up in here at least. You'll actually be able to see on the minimap that the important upgrades are actually... They actually flash out or give a little red aura around them on the minimap. This should give us plenty of ammo to go through with the mission, I think. Perfect. So he did nick us a little bit, but that's okay. It looks like he went into my room. And we're just chasing each other right now, but that's okay. And he's down. And it looks like he dropped, I think, the blue key, maybe? I think he did. We are on 90 health, which is pretty good right now. Our fuel is pretty good as well. We'll go ahead and get these stars here real quick. I know in there there's another little uh, special... There's a few others, like there's the special 10 star power up. If you pick that, it gives you 10 stars immediately. It just grants you an inch. And sometimes it gives you two instead of one tech for some reason, these stars. If you're lucky. So right now I'm on 16. That's pretty good, actually. We'll go ahead and bump it up to 18. 
and see if we can also get it up to 21st before we or 20 before we end up yes we can so now our machine guns are even more menacing ammo is pretty good and there's a fair amount of health here to pick up in case things get really dicey that is perfect okay so there is an Ooh. As you can tell, the machine guns are much more powerful than before. I think, like, uh, I think as I mentioned in the last video, the end tier stuff is, what, uh, at tech level 40 or something? Okay, so there's some more goodies in down here. Some paint. More rockets. And we'll be able to pick up some fuel for good measure, which is always nice. And some ammo, even. So is this destructible or not? No. One thing I found rather interesting about this game is it actually even includes at least one aircraft from Italy, of all places, which is not a nation you see very often in a World War II game. Well, not in an air combat one, at least not outside of the realm of flight sims. So I know, for example, that... I know, for example, you'll be able to, of course, find Italian aircraft in games like, say, IL-2, but back in the day... Well, I say back in the day, but then again, IL-2 did originally come out in 2000. Okay, so here's the blueprints that we came to unlock. Now, there is one more p final thing I'm going to pick up, and it's the special star power-up that gives you an additional 10 right off the bat. There we go. So we are close to maxing out that. Although it's not really going to do us... Oh, wait, there is one enemy left, and it looks like it might be an aircraft. I think it is. So we're going to be able to actually put this thing to good use. That's cool. Ooh. Actually, wait. Let's see if we can get, get it even higher up. Because we are just one away at this point, I think. I love how there's little things also you can do, like setting that on fire. Well, I was kind of hoping to be able to show... Ooh, wait, we can. So I do want to kind of do that real quick. Sorry, I'm... We do have plenty of ammo, and... There we go. The fun's really going to start now. So I'm just going to go back over. As you can tell, it's the default or very standard machine gun sound, but when you see how, like, for example, the cannons will start ricocheting and stuff like that. So it's all the more hilariously more effective. Where'd he go? I already took... He, he, he took himself out, didn't he? Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and end the mission. Anyways, let's go ahead and land this bird, and then we'll just be able to call it. There we go. Simple enough. In any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.